Welcome, I am Joshi, and in this playthrough of Marvel Champions, we have Hulk versus Collector. It's Collector 2. So we're going to have Hulk in justice for this one, as we have a lot of threat to deal with. Uh, so our plan is just essentially get through the threat as quickly as possible. Instead of rushing down an attack, we're going to rush down the thwarting with Hulk. All right, so um, we'll go through our setup. We put the Library Labyrinth environment into play, which is here. Uh, it has a hero action this way. We deal ourselves one face down encounter card and remove fire threat from the main scheme once per round per player. And we also set aside the ship command modular encounter set, which is here. So we'll put that aside for now. I'll proceed to 1B. Uh, so this threat's out at 11. It comes in with seven threat. So we'll grab seven here. Five, six, seven. As a force to interrupt, uh, when the last threat is removed from the scheme, we advance to stage 2A and the players win by advancing. Uh, looking at Collector, he comes in with uh, eight, health, 8 health per player. He has a scheme of 1, an attack of 1. However, Collector gets plus X scheme and plus X attack, where X is equal to the main scheme's current stage number. So the current uh, stage number is 1, so we'll give him his plus 1s here. And there's a force to interrupt. When he would be defeated, we remove 3 threat from the main scheme. Flip this card instead. Uh, so, I can't remember if I shuffled this up this game. I'll give a quick shuffle now in case I didn't. Uh, so, I think we have everything set up. We'll draw our hand size of five. So, we have Limitless Strength, Overwatch, Unstoppable Force, Crushing Blow, another Unstoppable Force. Um, I think I'm actually going to. Mulligan all four of these and just hold on to the limitless strength. So I want to find my thwarting stuff. We have a death focus, suborbital leap, another limitless strength, and upside the head. Okay, interesting start. We'll use our experimental research ability to draw a card and discard a card. <laughs> another suborbital leap. All right. Um, hmm. All right, we're going to throw away the deaf focus. Actually, uh, actually, no, we'll hold on to the deaf focus. No, changing my mind constantly. We're going to drop the deaf focus. All right, we're going to flip up to Hulk. We're going to use our limitless strength for a suborbital leap. So move three threat from a scheme, five threat instead if you pay for this using no physical resources, which we did. So five threat comes off here. We're then going to do it again. So we move five threat. So it comes off here. So we advance to stage uh, 2A. So we put the set aside Milano support from the ship encounter set into play under our control. So that comes into play. Um, so we can exhaust this to generate a wild resource for any player. We'll go to stage 2B. So this threat's out at 15. It comes in with 11. That's the same thing. We get rid of all the threat to advance. He's now going to have plus 2 to his stats because we're in stage 2. Uh, I'm going to attack with Hulk for 3. And we're going to exhaust the Milano. Spend for a resource for upside the head. So when your hero makes a basic attack and damages an enemy, confuse that enemy. If they're already confused, they get stunned, but we'll just confuse him. We will then do the this way. So we deal ourselves one face down encounter card and remove five threat from the main scheme. Take that down to six. And now we're ready up. Draw four cards. We have a limitless stamina, overwatch. Limitless Stamina, Ingenuity. Uh, we will do the Villains phase now. So we get one threat up on the main scheme. Collectors go attack us for base three. We will just take it. So three plus nothing. So we take three damage. And then we get another encounter card. First up, the villain schemes while well, he's confused, so he doesn't. Uh, next encounter card, the villain each minion engage with you, attacks you. 
All right, so he's going to tax for three again. We'll just take it. So three plus nothing. I did shuffle this up, right? Those are all the standard encounter sets. Um, oh, all right, it's our turn again. Okay. We will attack for three. We'll use an overwatch for a limitless stamina to ready our hero. And we'll attack for another three. So when collector would be defeated, remove three threat uh, from the main scheme and flip this card. So that'll go down to four. So Collector's now got a scheme zero, attack zero. He loses his bonuses from the uh, main scheme. Uh, he cannot, so Collector cannot be defeated. Force interrupt when the round ends, so at the end of the villain stage, uh, we set the Collector's hit points back to his hint, uh, flip the card and set him back to eight. I'm then going, oh, well, and we need to, no, no, we're sitting here. Okay, so I could, I could push him to stage three, but I think that would be dangerous if I want to flip down and put Ingenuity in play. So, because I could use this to remove five threat. I think for now we're going to flip down, we're going to use Milano and Limitless Stamina to put Ingenuity in play, since we're genius. So playing with here, Danny has the genius trait. Uh, we can exhaust this and generate a mental resource. Uh, and then we'll ready up. We'll draw five cards. Go energy, crisis averted, lock jaw, limitless stamina, and upside the head. Okay. So one threat goes on the main scheme. Another five. Collector's going to scheme for zero plus nothing. Uh, so he doesn't scheme at all, so nothing, and then we get our encounter card. So it goes, when revealed, you are confused. If you're already confused, take one damage. That's going to make things tricky for us. And now Collector flips and gets his eight health back. Now it's our turn. Okay. We'll use our... Experiment research, research ability, draw a card and discard a card. We have Boundless Rage. Mm. Yeah, I'm actually going to hold on to Boundless Rage. Actually, no. I'm not getting rid of, I mean, I hold on to Boundless Rage, but I'm going to throw away Lockjaw because we can always play him from the discard if we want to. Um, I'm going to flip up. We're going to thwart for zero to remove our confused. We are then going to spend uh, ingenuity plus two energy for a crisis averted. Actually, no. I think we can, I think we can do this. I think we can do this. What we will do is we'll deal ourselves one face down encounter card, remove five threat from here. So that's going to advance us uh, to 3A. So when we flip the library labyrinth, so we flip this. We now have the museum ship, which has a hold on to your butts forced interrupt. When the villain phase begins, we choose one. We exhaust the liner and assign two indirect damage uh, among players, so two per player, but it's just us, so it's just two. Or we don't exhaust Milano, and we assign three indirect damage among players. Uh, we place one acceleration token on the main scheme. We shuffle the remaining uh, cards from the ship command encounter into the encounter deck.
Right, we'll go to 3B. So we have the Great Escape uh, with permanent acceleration token on it. Threats out 12, comes in with 8. So 5, 6, 7, 8. Collector now gets plus 3 to all these stats. Um, we have a first play action. We can exhaust some line and remove three threat from here. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We exhaust Milano, remove three threat. I mean, we've got the win, I think, at this point. So we're then going to spend two resources, uh, three resources for Crisis Averted. Remove six threat from the main scheme. If you paid for using a mental resource, this thwart ignores the Crisis icon, but that doesn't matter because five threat all we have remaining there. Um, at this stage, uh, if there's no threat on here, players win the game. So, Hulk, who's thought of zero, still strongest one there is, can handle Collector 2. Wasn't much of an issue. I did get really lucky with those cards off the bat, though. Um, but that was all his intention, just to use these big thwart events um, and use the actual mechanics to win. Uh, so, once again, Hulk, strongest one there is. I hope you enjoyed this game. If you did, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.